I'm here with Nick Bakula. Uh, he is my recommended lender here in the area. And what I want to talk about here is the horror stories that I hear about with buyers who are sitting at settlement and then all of a sudden their financing doesn't come through right. because their their lender did what they call a re-verification. And, and, and what has happened is I'm excited. I'm buying my new house. I just went and got a bunch of furniture on my yep. credit card. So what... What happened there? Why, why all of a sure. sudden did my financing fall through when it was good yep. two days before settlement? Sure. Um, so the, the one criteria that banks look at, um, or one of the criteria, is debt to income. Um, and they look at your, they use your credit report to calculate your debts on a monthly basis and make sure you can qualify for your new house. So when you're looking um, from, from your original credit pull to settlement, could be a lengthy time, you know, for most people, it's probably in the 60 day range. Um, so in those 60 days, your credit profile has changed. So ever since um, the financial crisis, 2008, 2009, banks were like, well, we don't have a complete financial picture. This person could have gone out and bought in three cars. And now all of a sudden they don't qualify based on the stuff that we checked 60 days ago. So the current guideline is 10 days prior to closing to do a credit recheck. It's not, it's a soft pull, but they will look at the debts and look at has there been any new inquiries? Have you gone out and has anything changed significantly? And we'll do a re-verification of the debt to income percentage, which could, in theory, if someone goes and buys an expensive car and they were very close to qualifying, it could technically make them so that All of a sudden qualified. you've knocked yourself out so, without even knowing it. Yep, so the advice is when you have your credit pulled for a mortgage, don't change your financial, financial picture at all. And it, and it could be as specific as hey, you gotta pay down your credit card to zero and not and pay cash or use your check card for the next 30 days if someone's on the borderline and that close. Got it, got um, it. There, there's a couple ways you can always pay something off at closing. I mean, there's a ways to kind of fix it, but it's not a situation you wanna find yourself in. Sure, With the moving sure. boxes packed and the credit recheck comes back and all of a sudden, hey, there's furniture and- And, and um, so this is across the board. All banks are, gonna, are likely yeah. gonna do this, right? So the, the key here is, once you got a homeowner contract, once you got your loan approved, don't go buy anything else on credit until you get yeah, to that, settlement. That, then go crazy, but, can wait. Yeah. but get the home purchased first. Don't affect your credit score in any way, shape or form before you buy the home and you won't have any issues. Yeah. And I would go, I go one step further as well. And you know, some people are like, well, you pull it at day 10, that means two days before. And I say, you never know what's gonna happen. Just wait till you've signed everything. And then after closing, you can, Feel right. free to do whatever right. you're back and i'm you're assuming you guys are obviously teaching your clients sure they, they know this yeah, right absolutely. now th there are certainly some buyers that don't know this so again if you're seeing this video now you know don't go out and buy anything until yeah. you buy your home cool